get ready with me for my brother-in-law's traditional marriage and marriage blessing in two hours. The venue for my brother-in-law's traditional marriage and marriage blessing was in River State while I and the children are resident in Bielsa. My husband works in Port Harcourt. So I had to leave Bielsa to um, the place for the traditional marriage. It's like an hour, 30 minutes drive from where I am. And I left the house, got to the park, asked them how much it was, and I was told 2,000 Naira. I understand that there's, there's um, scarcity of Naira notes and the hike in fuel price, but 2,000 Naira for a journey which we usually used to pay between 500 to 700 Naira, and it's now 2,000 Naira. It was almost... On, at the verge of going back home, getting into the car, and driving myself. But mm -mm. <laughs> I have never driven on the highway before, so it's not as though I was scared. <laughs> but I, you know, when you haven't convinced, convinced yourself to do something, there's no way you would do it. So you are able to convince yourself, then you would be able to take up that challenge but i haven't been able to convince myself so i just had to stick to okay no problem i would pay the two thousand naira i got into the vehicle issue now is for it to get filled up for us all to go you can imagine and i now had to start waiting for almost an hour and supposedly the event was supposed to start at 9 a.m and this was already a few minutes to 11 a.m. When am I going to leave? When am I going to get there? And when am I also going to come back? Because I, I also had to come back same day back to Bielsa. So I got there. Um, the vehicle left Bielsa. We got to... Um, close to the place where I was supposed to drop, my husband now called me and said, no, I should still go further to Uniport to get um, a vehicle coming back there. And I was like, what kind of stress is this? Because wherever it is that the vehicle would stop me at Uniport, I would have to walk a long distance. But thankfully, um, a friend of my husband saw me and he carried me in his car to the park and i was able to get a vehicle now for that vehicle to even get full was another issue i had to stay there for another 30 minutes and it is almost 2 p.m then the distance again going into the place for the traditional marriage was a long one i didn't expect it to be that long the bottom line is I kept lamenting and lamenting like I wish I had driven. I wish I had. Honestly speaking, after what I had gone through today to go to the event for the traditional marriage and back home, I am definitely going on that highway the next time I find myself in such a position. Right? I have now convinced myself that I need to get rid of, if it's a phobia, I need to get rid of it. If I need to talk to myself, I already have talked to myself right now. So I definitely will be able to drive myself down next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like this video. Please leave a comment in the comment section. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for watching.